some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Galveston, Texas with News Now Ninja and Good Citizen News. And today, Good Citizen News has a court date and his buddy is along for the ride. But his buddy wants to film the court proceedings and when he's denied, he gives an attitude issue to every employee in sight. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here we are back at the City of Galveston Municipal Court. Fifteen minutes later. Ma'am, are you the bailiff today? Yes. I had a question. Um, is this court open to the public? What do you mean, what do you mean by the public? If you're scheduled to come in... No, no, no. It, it's, a, it's a free open court, right? For the public to witness what happens here? Do you have to be on the docket in order to witness court here? We only have a certain because I was refused access to this court to witness. Mm -hmm. This is a free and open public court. And so I'm here to document that I'm going to be refused access to a free and open public court because I'm not on a docket. And this judge checks and balances to me are very important. And I like to hold people accountable. And if y'all are only letting people in court that y'all are... I have business I'm trying to talk to you about, ma'am. Ah, twisting the narrative already, are we? You yourself are not being denied access to that courtroom. As with many cases, cameras are not allowed in the courtroom for very specific reasons, one of those being jury intimidation. In addition, courthouses have always been non-public forums, and your little temper tantrums are not going to change that. Well, I, I'll have to get an answer to your question. I don't have an answer this Okay, thank you. A little longer than a few minutes later. What was your name? What was your name? Yeah, you're a public employee. Let me talk to your supervisor if you want to get an attitude. Or you can just tell me your name. Yeah. I'm not playing y'all's games here today. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the way I speak. Okay. I apologize for that. If you have sensitive ears, you can close the door. There you go. You know what I see when I look at you and hear what you say? A grown man with the mental maturity of a two-year-old. In fact, I deal with special needs students who have more mental maturity and politeness than you do. And you seem like very much a neurotypical young man. But you still are worse off than any one of the special needs students that I deal with on a daily basis. Kick rocks. Y'all are not bullying me today. And that public employee is going to tell me your name. I swear these kangaroo courts. Y'all just not used to being held accountable, huh? I'm sure you've seen the YouTube videos. You can just tell me your name and I'll walk away. Okay. What was your name? Okay. You can write it for me. Okay. You're not going to tell me your name? I have business, ma'am. I would like to conduct business. Can I get a uh, Can I get a complaint form? I need a complaint form. So, are you refusing me services? I want to confirm. Are you refusing me services? I deny you service too if you were that disrespectful to me, and if you were a student I had to deal with, I'd ignore your requests until you were a bit more respectful and just let you have your little temper tantrum on the ground and ignore you. Okay, can I get a complaint form? Her supervisor, too? Can I ask you to please move and let me help this gentleman? That's all I need you to do. Can I get you to identify yourself? Because no. it's part of your policies and procedures, yes. Why are you being so silly? Why are you being silly, ma'am? You, all you have to do is identify yourself as a public employee and who you are, and I walk away. Please move. Sir, can I get you to step up here so I can help you? Refusal of service. <laughs> How you doing? 
Wow. Make a... <laughs> what a cheat show, huh? Uh, 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 I think this was the lady last time that freaked out, right? She was the, the first one that was stupid last time. They had to got to get the supervisor. Now we have this one. Dude, she was doing really good too. She smiled, waved. And then told me kick rocks. Like, what the heck? That was crazy. And so they're only allowing people into this open, free, open public court that if you're on the docket, that's it. For COVID, yes. The judge, COVID restrictions are in place. You are not allowed in the courtroom unless you're on the docket. There he goes, guys. What was your name, ma'am? It's Deputy Moore. Deputy Moore, thank you. They want to hold everybody accountable to the law and take your money and charge you for BS violations. But they themselves do not follow those same restrictions. So now that you're done conducting business with those people, would you like to identify, ma'am? Because I'm going to file a complaint with, on you. <laughs> okay. So what's your name? Okay. Your name is okay? Okay. Tell you to write another file. Okay. That's sad. Hey, are you getting the supervisor for me? I want to speak to your Boy, you don't need a manager. You need a timeout in the corner. Are you getting the supervisor, ma'am? Ma'am, are you getting the supervisor as I requested? I'm sorry? You are the supervisor? Can you get a supervisor or is she just refusing to come and speak with me because of your ignorance? Hey, your ignorance is only going to go so far with me, lady. You work for me. Remember that. My tax dollars go to your salary. I'm going to report you all day. You're my public servant. Y'all are going to get used to it. Because I'm sick of y'all getting away with those trash attitudes. Yeah. Can I please get this public employee's name so I can leave? I'm trying to file a complaint on her. I'm going to do an official complaint probably at City Hall, but I need her name to do the complaint. Cindy. What was it? Cindy. Cindy. And what was your name? Gladys. Gladys. And is there more than one Cindy in this office? Am I going to have problems filing the complaint? No, sir. Okay. Thank you, Gladys. Oh, the poor little baby's not getting his way. Do you want to go to the cool down room and hit the padded wall a few times? not used to accountability, checks and balances. They believe that we should pay them millions of dollars a year and then just bend over and take it. Right? You disagree to that. See, your ignorance shows on your face. And your arrogant stupidity shows up on the camera, News Now Ninja. Yeah, yeah. This is what, this is what the face of freedom looks like. Not afraid of y'all. This is the face of freedom. Willing to take the arrest over and over and over again. And you know how many times I've been found guilty? Zero. Because you're the public servant, not me. Yeah. You have a badge? What's that badge say? Ignorant? I'm saying, what does your badge say? I asked a question. I said, does your badge, does your badge say ignorant? Oppositional defiance disorder is a hell of a condition, isn't it? I made no assertions. I asked questions. Learn English, woman. Y'all just ain't used to it, huh? You're just used to giving it to people. You're not used to taking it. At least this time she doesn't have a bunch of people's private information sitting on the counter. That's pretty good, you know. We wouldn't want a bunch of private stuff up because then in that kind of situation, it would be uh, them violating people's rights more. Here's the Americans with Disabilities Act. If you don't know it, go ahead and pause.
Gosh, I swear, I can't even come to Galveston without getting a YouTube video. Y'all guys act like clowns every time. Ah, you don't live in the area either, so you don't pay taxes here, huh? Which means you're acting like a petulant child for nothing. And just another reminder, guys, that they're always watching you. But they hate it when you watch them. You know, Halloween's over, guys. Y'all don't have to keep acting like a clown today. That's why we do it right there, guys. The American flag. For, okay, that, for freedom. Oh, okay. Liberty and justice for all. Five minutes later. Huh? Can we get that peg so it's not the door wasn't held open? Maybe? Because there was a peg in the door. Step outside. Can't talk. We can't talk in this lobby? <laughs> what in the heck? It's echoey in here. You're a little loud. <laughs> they got 10 people in here and they can't, we can't have a conversation. Yeah, we can't talk about how bullshit this is. He said, step outside. Step outside. <laughs> step outside, it's raining, bro. I ain't gonna step outside. <laughs> like, what the? Look, look, guys, this is what he's telling me to step out. He wants me to go step in the rain instead of talk in a public lobby. You know, it's really sad when you deal with special needs students who have a lot better temperament than any of these clowns do. At least when those students act out, it's part of their disorder. But what's these guys' excuses? I mean, all they are a bunch of ill-mannered, loud-mouthed losers.